All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing the brand new Tech LR Vegito Blue at only 55% in the hidden potential system. So no dupes whatsoever and see how good he is compared to a rainbow 100% LR Vegito Blue. Now if you guys are curious about what that looks like, what a rainbow LR Vegito Blue can do, Feel free to go check out that rainbow showcase I did earlier this month. You can find a link somewhere above my head, over here, or over there. I forgot where to point, but somewhere. You guys can probably see it. And I think the point I'm trying to make in this video is that even though, obviously, he's not as good with no dupes compared to four dupes, he's still absolutely amazing at 55%, man. He is still better than many, many units out there that are rainbowed. At only 55%. So, yeah, let's jump into it. We got a Realm of Gods theme here on the Legendary Goku event. And first turn, we're gonna get that 18k super. Vegito Blue is also gonna super. Oh, by the way, there's two Vegito Blues. So, it's gonna be a little bit confusing when I say Vegito Blue, but I'm gonna go with LR Vegito Blue for the LR and then, you know, just Vegito Blue for the TUR. Or maybe I should say Fizz. Doesn't matter. First super. 1 point, almost 1.9 mil, pretty solid, pretty respectable. We also get that additional super from the passive. So in total, about 3 million attack on the first turn. Now that's with no supports, so I'll take it. You know what, I've always said though, like these guys are not that impressive, right? Before they get their transformation. Like before Vegito goes Vegito Blue, and before Gogeta goes Blue Gogeta, they're just good units. Like in their base forms, they're, just, they're good units, but they're not gonna blow anybody away. They're nothing too crazy. It's when they transform. It's when they transform that the real fun begins. Now in this video, I really, really want to get off that like crazy turn with the active skill where you can pop the active skill in the third slot of the rotation and then move them back to the first or second slot and get like three guaranteed supers. That would be the dream. I've never done that even after using this guy a ton of times because the issue is that once you pop that active skill, the enemy like 90% of the time is dead. If they're still alive, they can only take like one super. So we'll basically have to use that um, either on UI Goku or MUI Goku. So hopefully we can get there. It might be a bit of a longer video, but I think it'll be worth it. Okay, so second turn, we do finally have a support on rotation. We got the West Kai with the 40%. And defensively, Vegito's at 81,000. So nothing crazy, nothing crazy, but it's good enough for now. And our attack should go up to go up to 2.6. So from 1.9 last turn to 2.6 now, can we get a second additional super. Yes, we can. Yo, <laughs> this guy knows we're showcasing him, man. He he knows. He feels it. He's like, yo, I'm gonna show out right here. I'm gonna show out. I do all my additionals that I normally don't do because it's only a 25% chance for the additional super. So that was actually pretty lucky to get it back to back like that. And of course, the Fizz Vegito Blue is doing his thing. He is still amazing. In my opinion, the best TUR in the game. So I love that, man. This is one of my favorite rotations in the game now. No question. The LR Vegito and the TUR Vegito. Um, just such a insanely, insanely powerful rotation. It's not even funny. Okay. So next time he comes back, we will get that Vegito Blue transformation and get that double Vegito Blue um, rotation. Damn, Beerus ate that. Not too well. I mean, better than a lot of units, but still, 112k. That was rough. That was rough. Oh, speaking of Beerus... I'll show you guys in a second. Um, I actually applied my sticker to Beerus as my first ever TUR to get a sticker because we got one yesterday for Battlefield, right? So I believe that was the first sticker that was available on Global. And I gave the honors to Fizz Beerus. I was originally going to do Vegito Blue because he's like one of my most used TURs, of course. Oh, here's the transformation. Enjoy. I'm going to shout out for a second. That's dope. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we got the Vegito Blue. But anyways, let me show you guys real quick. So we have our sticker on the Beerus. And look at that, guys. Look how freaking clean that is, man. 
I mean, I wasn't really sure about giving him the sticker, but as soon as I applied it, as soon as I saw that effect, I was like, no regrets. No regrets whatsoever, man. This was 100% worth it. Compare that to the Friend Beerus. Oh, you know, the Friend Beerus actually has the sticker too. I never noticed. I was going to do like a side-by-side -side comparison of no sticker versus sticker, but no, we both have stickers. Yo, whoever this guy is, he's a smart man. But anyways, I wanted to say, I'm curious to know. Let me know in the comments down below which unit you guys chose to apply your first sticker to, okay? This is going to be a good turn, by the way. It's going to be a really good turn. We got the full 24k super. Keep in mind, Vegito hasn't been able to stack up anything yet. And we're getting 3.24 mil for the first super attack as Vegito Blue. And here comes the additional 2.3. All right, so 3.4 plus 2.3, that's 5.7. 5.7 mil attack on the first turn, man. He's only been able to stack up twice. He has a maximum of 11 stacks of attack and defense. So we haven't seen anything yet, man. We haven't seen anything yet. I gotta be a little bit careful on these rotations, like off rotations here, because um, these guys are gonna take a lot of damage to supers. I, I don't think we need to item here, but I will be iteming here and there as needed just to keep the team alive and ensure we can actually get to the later stages. All right, so don't judge me for using items. I would prefer not to, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. That's good. It was good that Beerus got supered. Um, yeah, let me know which characters you guys chose or which units you guys chose to apply the stickers to. Um, some really good, one, good ones I've seen that I'm a big fan of are uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta for sure. Uh, who else? There's also Tech Vegeta Blue that looks super clean. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, even though his super attack animation is one of the worst in the game. His sticker animation, very, very nice. Uh, who else? Who else? Um, I mean, STR Cooler is a good choice because it's STR Cooler, but I don't think he actually has that good of a sticker animation. I think it's pretty basic, pretty boring. But obviously, if you want to just apply it to like a unit that you use a ton, that's also a good call. That's why I almost did, uh, that's why I almost did Fizz Vegito Blue because I was like, I use Fizz Vegito Blue so much, I might as well just give him the sticker. He deserves it, obviously. Um... But yeah, I decided to go with Fizzbeers, man. No regrets. Once again, no regrets whatsoever. And even if you chose like one of the lesser used units for you, right? Just because you like it, but you don't use it a ton, you can, it's not a big deal because you can still get a lot more stickers in the future, right? Through, you know, events, through missions, and all that stuff. So there's really no bad choice, I guess. If you like a unit, just do it, man. Look, look at Mass Ningen. Mass Ningen gave his first sticker to Super 17. And I think like 99% of people out there wouldn't have done that, but because that's like his guy, he decided to do it, and I respect that. All right, so we're on Godku now. Um, Godku obviously hits really, really hard when he supers. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually pop and press a snake, make sure we just stay alive here, and you know, survive until the next turn. I could have popped the Beerus active skill, but I didn't feel like it. And even with the active, active skill, I don't think Beerus would have actually been able to kill God Ku. So that, that would have left us open to getting supered in the second or third slots. It just was it was too it was too dangerous. Alright, it was not a good proposition. So we're not gonna let, let him do that. Alright. Yo, Topo getting over a million right now is pretty good for a support unit, right? But his Extreme Z Awakening details just came out, and his EZA is phenomenal, dude. Yo, his EZA is so good. He is one of the best supports in the game now, if not the best, actually, if you consider everything. Because Kid Buu, obviously, from a purely support supporting aspect, still has the better support passive. But Topo gets 40% damage reduction when you're below... 50 or 70% HP, so he's gonna be a much better tank when you need him to be. And that's also a big consideration, obviously, right? So I'm not really sure, actually. I, I think overall Topo might be better than Kid Buu, if you consider all aspects. Anyways, I can't wait for Topo's EZA. If you want the full details, um, go check it out somewhere above my head. Once again, link somewhere over there, somewhere over here. And there's also AGL Dispo, who uh, also is, is, is cool. But I'm way more excited for Topo. I'll be honest, man. Way, like a million times more excited for Topo. Um, ooh. 
So that, that attack at the end kind of worries me. Although I think Vegito's just going to kill him with this Dokkan attack here. Okay, let me get this perfect. And let, let, let me focus here for a second. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, feels good. Okay. Okay, we did it. We did it. Attack up to 4.25 mil. 4.25? This is a 55% Vegito, guys. A 55% Vegito. I have 4.25 mil. And we're critting for 6.2. Hmm. Oh, that's clean. That's clean. What did I say, guys? What did I say at the beginning of this video? Even, even without any tubes, still one of the best units in the game, man. Outclasses a lot of their units at 100%. Not all of them, obviously, but a lot. A lot. Um, I think this turn I'm still going to pop an item just because of all these attacks that's coming in. We got to stay alive, of course. That's the main goal here. Stay alive until we can pop the active skill and launch like a million supers. So I got to get that. I haven't done that like at all yet. And I think we need to do that in this video. It's just got to happen. <sighs> okay. Y'all can already see. I can see some people in the comments right now maybe saying like, yo, we don't care about seeing, you know, 55% showcases or whatever. Like we just want to see those rainbow showcases. And that's, that's fair. That's valid. Because obviously it's much more exciting to see a unit at you know, 100% versus 55%. But my thinking is like, most players, right? Most people that play this game are not huge whales and they're not gonna be able to actually, you know, get a unit to rainbow status, right? Like most people are only gonna get one copy, maybe two copies at most. So this is a much more realistic representation of what they can expect from their Vegito Blues when they awaken them. So I think videos like this are definitely important. And uh, I'm going to keep doing them because I think there's a lot of value in them. Okay, so we got uh, 114,000 defense here. Obviously, we do have the Icarus active, so it's not going to be a great representation representation of his um, tanking here. But uh, attack-wise, this should look pretty good. This, this, this attack stat should be pretty nice. Because so we're getting supered here. I mean, once again, we got the item active, so can't really take this at face value. We're taking 29,000. So let's say without the item, that would have been 50,000. Maybe 80,000. It still would have been okay. It wouldn't have been anything too crazy. Okay, so 2.38, over 3 million with the additional 12 key super now. So this turn, we generated about 7.3 million attack. 7.3 million attack. Okay. Is Vegito Blue doing this thing as well? Damn. How crazy is this rotation, guys? How how absolutely insane is this rotation? <sighs> yeah, this is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. We're gonna ghost usher. <clears throat> gonna ghost usher for sure. Um, because that's just too scary. That's just <laughs> that's just too much. <laughs> Um, next turn, actually, I think on the third slot, we're going to be having... Oh, damn, we're going to be getting Beerus. So we might have to do something for that turn as well. Kind of the problem with these showcases, right? Like, you try to bring supports and stuff, right? To, to, to get some extra attack in there. But these supports, they don't do so hot against these super attacks. So, got to be careful. But I think we can do this. I think we can still achieve the dream of launching an active skill and also getting a bunch of supers as well. Uh, ooh, Fizz Beerus, we gotta throw at the end here. Um, let's see, let's see. What should we do, what should we do? I'm gonna pop an Icarus again. And we'll, we'll, let, we'll let Vegito Blue take a super near the end when we you know, know for a fact that we're like, we're done. All right, that's the plan. That's going to be the plan. Okay, so we're taking 86 damage there. 3.9 mil for the Ultra Super. No supports this time. But I think Vegito Blue should be either fully stacked up or close to. Because he has launched a lot of attacks at this point. Right? So we should be close to being fully stacked up on his passive. <laughs> Alright, we just need to get him below 50% HP and we're good. Right, just below 50% HP. Then we can launch the active skill. Then we can... 
um, move it back to the first second slot and get like triple supers off. Hopefully he survives at least the first two supers and we can just finish up him off with that third super. If you have dupes in him, you can get up to four extra supers because you can still get that, you can also get that hidden potential super too, right? So uh, that's why like a duped out Vegito Blue is so insane. But once again, he's still very good without the dupes. It's just obviously, you would like dupes if you can get them. Like that, that I'm not I'm not trying to say like, oh, I don't want dupes, you know, I don't care about dupes. That's definitely what I'm not, not, not what I'm trying to say. All I'm saying is you don't need dupes to get a crazy amount of output from this unit. Him and also the, uh, the Gogeta, of course. All right, pop that active skill right there. Uh, let's use a Princess Snake. And we should be good. Yo, Beerus actually might do too much damage. Beerus might be do might do a little bit too much. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. Oh my god, okay, 6.69 mil. He is gonna get effective against all types here, I think. He does. But you know what? He doesn't do too much. Or he doesn't do too much. Uh gonna be a delicate balance between yeah I don't know actually UI Goku is gonna be pretty close to death after this so I'm hoping at least we don't kill him with the active skill we can at least you know do the active skill and then launch one more super before he dies we'll see okay let me let me just do this active skill first we'll worry about everything else later Enjoy, guys. One of the best animations in the game, no question. I think this is actually better than the Gogeta active skill animation, if I'm being completely honest. Boom. <sighs> so glorious, man. So beautiful. They killed it. Yo, they, oh man. They killed it, and we killed Goku. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. But what can you do? That's that's just how it is sometimes. That's just that's just life sometimes. Um, maybe I should have saved it actually for you, MUI Goku. Right. That that probably would have been the better call. That's um, that's my bad. It's my bad for sure. But. I mean, at least you got to see that beautiful KO screen, right? Like, that was still worth it. That was still worth the wait, I think. <laughs> Should we just go for the clear here? I'm sure we can do it. I'm sure we can do it. I don't think it's really necessary, obviously. I've, I've done all the missions, so it's not like I need to clear it with Realm of Gods or anything like that. But, um... We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll just do one more attack with Vegito and then call it a day. That wouldn't be bad either. At this point, you guys have seen plenty right you've seen plenty so it's not like there's anything else to really see here aside from like if i could have gotten that like you know active skill plus the triple super thing but in in uh, uh, just just know in like theoretically it does work all right it can happen <laughs> all right oh i forgot vegeta blue isn't gonna be on this rotation yeah it's because we put him off rotation last turn man okay well that is gonna be the end of the showcase guys thank you so much for watching um i was hoping that you know we could end off on a bit of a crazier note i mean this isn't bad either this isn't bad either but we're here to showcase the lr vegeto blue and even though the fizz one is putting in a lot of work damn he really is putting in a lot of work Wow, um, you know, it should it should be the LR doing this right now. It should be the L. I'm gonna just let it. You know what? Let's just play, let's let's just let it play out. Screw it. <laughs> I was trying to end off the video, but Base Vegito Blue was like, "No, we're not having it." Yo, dude, we're here. We're gonna finish this. So we're gonna finish this. Yo, we only took 51k there. I thought actually, I actually thought we we're gonna we we're gonna take more there, but that's good. That's good. 51k only. And as long as we don't get supered here, we are still alive. We're still very much alive. 
Um, let's see, what should we do? Let's, uh... Hmm... Yeah, we got a, like, Ghost Dasher here. If we're, if we're legit going for the cleaner, we're gonna Ghost Dasher here. Let's give these to Petito Blue. Beerus, ooh, no super from Beerus, that's gonna hurt. But let's see what Petito Blue can do. Link with the Beerus, 4.36 mil. 4.36. Crit? Ah, no crit there, so not a lot of damage. 3.33 mil. Man, if he was linked with Vegito Blue, like the other Vegito Blue that we have to support to, would have been some really nice damage. At least attack stat wise. The attack stat would have been really, really nice. But what can you do, man? Things don't really always work out the way you want them to. And now. Yes, now with the base of Vegito Blue, we are going to finish the event, so... I mean, clears do occasionally happen in these showcases, but not, like, a ton. But it just worked out that way. It just worked out that way. Base of Vegito Blue is too much of a monster for UI Goku to handle. So we're going to finish things off. There you go. And that is today's showcase, guys. It kind of, in the end, became a Viz Vegito Blue showcase, because he kind of stole the show, but... That's just how he is, man. That's just how he operates. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got the point I was trying to make in this video uh, that the LR Vegito Blue, the tech one, is just still a ridiculous unit, even without any dupes in him. Now, mine does have a dupe already fed in there, so I'm going to get him to 69% and, uh, you know, get those extra additionals, get that potential third additional super, some extra crits, all that good stuff, get him to do even more damage. Of course, if you can get dupes, you would like dupes, but you don't need dupes for this guy. And that's the point I was trying to make with this video. Hopefully that came through. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.